I asked her that and she was like, well, yes, but also Thailand has a, its own law that's unique to it that um, after you are, you pick up your child and they're your child, you are not allowed to talk about them or share any images, photos, videos, anything about them online for a year. Yeah, and that, So I mean, Nikki's got a YouTube channel where we share a whole lot. Wait, it's, hold on, hold on, hold on. When that hit, we literally were like, Yeah. What? Like, we literally were like, I, wait, what? <laughs> So we're like going around the house, we're like trying to figure out how this could work, like hashtag baby blur face, yeah, like blur what are we face. gonna do? Dan's like, maybe we could deal with that for a year, and we're talking about it, and we're like, all right, let's pray about it, <clears throat> let's sleep on it, and then let's see how we feel well, in the morning. Well, it's not just a rule that Thailand had, sorry, it's not just a rule that Thailand has, like, oh, you, you can't share anything or talk about your kid for a year, it's that the adoption is not finalized until a year later yeah so uh you know the kid's gonna be living in our house for a year and it's not that whole, that whole time not, not our, our kid. kid so yeah not okay with that either yeah so, so we slept on it i told a couple of people in my life um like a couple close friends my assistant melissa because she's like super logical and um, she responded being like, dude, like what if there's an accident or something? And Holt actually said to us like, you need to take this policy really seriously because you could mess up Holt's relationship with Thailand and you could mess it, mess up adoptions, future adoptions for families that are waiting in line in process with Thailand. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, I like, I almost Snapchatted while I was signing an NDA once. Like I'm like, this is gonna, I'm gonna totally mess up. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Fax, and I want to say kudos to Thailand. I wish more countries would do this. It's getting to the point where this is actually just getting kind of sad. I'm so tired of people using children as props, people going to these third world countries, these improvised countries. They go out of their way to adopt these children and use them as photo ops to make themselves feel better as people. One thing I've always wondered is, if you live in America, right, there's thousands, tens of thousands of kids that need adoption. Why would you go out of your way to a third world country, a different country when you could adopt children in your own country? Right. So at first, when I heard this rule about Thailand, where it says that you can't take any pictures or videos of any children you adopt, I thought it was a little weird at first. But now it makes a completely a lot of sense because they've noticed that. You got these people, mostly Caucasian people, that come to their country, adopt these kids, but it's not out of love. It's not out of genuine care. It's more so for a photo op, to, and like almost like a bag, like an accessory. They use these kids as accessories. You know how many people or how many people in Haiti have had their kids literally stolen from them on the premise of adoption because they want these kids to be a photo op for them? They want to have a black child. They want so, you know, just the contrasting look of a blended family to put on social media, to put on all these sites to make themselves feel better or just to use the children as a prop. I've never liked it and I never understood it. Why go out of your way to go to a whole different country, go through all of that to bring a, a child into your own family when there's plenty of people in your own country that need adopting? It never made sense. Very self-serving and shame on these couple. Shame on this couple. Once they found out that they couldn't use the child for their own selfish gains, they said, no, thank you. I'm good. Showing that their intentions were never good in the first place. They just wanted a child to show on their YouTube channel to do this, to do that. And once they found out they couldn't do it, they didn't want the child anymore. So kudos to Thailand. You're sorting out the, the people that want to use these children as props, want to use these children for clout. Kudos, and I wish more countries would do it because this is getting ridiculous. Point blank, period, it's getting ridiculous. I've seen so many black children used as props. I've seen so many impoverished children used as props, and it's not good for the psyche. How are you going to go out all the way to Thailand, do this, do that, and then, oh, well, it turns out you can't for a year, just one year, you can't take any pictures or videos of the child, and now you don't want the child. What type of parent would you be? 
that's what swayed your decision that that's what oh well you know what i can't do this anymore it's ridiculous shame on these people they're very disgusting individuals they're clout seekers they want they want attention and it's just a shame i wish more countries would do that where they would ban these foreigners from coming into their country and taking these children because they're just using these children at the end of the day but do you agree with me? Disagree with me? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. It's your boy Facts Only. I'm out.